Hi everyone, welcome to Bet 11. And before I start, has anyone seen my rabbit? Because I need to pull, I need to pull that rabbit out of the heart. A little bit behind, we've had returns, but we need a winner. We need a winner. And I am between two in this race, but after under control being taken out because Nicky's horses aren't well, I've been looking at this two horses in this race, but one of them was the one that was worrying me when under control was in the race. I don't think the ground will be too soft by the time we get to Friday. This bet's for Friday in the county hurdle at 210. Now, it's gone absurd, absurd. Uh, and I'm going to have £45 to win now. There's a 7 to 1 available. But the price is going, so we'll call it 13 to 2. I don't want to be... There's a few, quite a few at 13 to 2. So we'll call it 13 to 2, even though there's 7 to 1 available at Bet365. There's 13 to 2 with Paddy Power, Betfair, and a few other bookmakers, Boyle Sports, etc. So, uh, and it's bigger on the exchanges. So we'll call it 13 to 2. Uh, so £45 on Absurd. Now, the, the horse I'm worried about is Lo de Sud because Skelton is flying and because this horse runs so well against the Biddical Lord. But the selection, Absurd, I just I loved his run last time out. Now, people will say King of Kingsfield was the favourite for this race, beat him and is £2 better off. But I don't think Absurd was there to win last time out. I think he's there to win tomorrow. He's won an Ebor, and he's been fourth in a race he wasn't really there to win against Bali Barn and Slade Steel, who won the, the Gallagher's on the Supreme. So the form is strong. I'm just not a fan of King of Kingsfield. I know that a lot of people will be a fan of King of Kingsfield, but um, I have to be with Absurd. Now, the, the one I'm worried about is Lo de Sud rather than King of Kingsfield. I think Skelton flying, but... I have to be with Absurd, and if uh, I've got plenty of the bank left, because uh, I don't fancy anything on Thursday, really, and we have one bet running on Thursday as well. So I, I'm going to, this is me looking for the rabbit now, I need the rabbit, he needs to reappear, and he needs to reappear soon. I'm trying to sort of keep the record going of having winning festivals, I know that probably a lot of people think Betting in the county hurdle isn't the, the best place to go looking for a, a winner. Now, I'm putting it up now because the prices are just insane. The bookmakers have obviously had a thrashing and they're not happy and they're cutting prices like to wafer thin. I mean, I fancied I was going to have a bet last night on the videos on I Know The Way You're Thinking. That was 7 to 2 at the time. I was thinking, will I put it off or not? By the time I was trying to make the video, it was 11 to 4. And I thought, 11 to 4, it was scandalous. It's now 15 to 8. And I mean, I know that people like to have a bet, but this is just getting ridiculous now. They're bookmakers. They're supposed to take bets, and they don't want to. And it's, uh, yeah, it's quite frustrating. Anyway, the bet, like, now there is 7 to 1. If you've got 365, there is a, a 7 to 1 available with them. But we'll call it 13 to 2 because quite a few other firms are 13 to 2. £45 to win. Absurd in the county hurdle is bet 11. Thanks for watching. Good luck on day 3 and on day 4. Bye for now.